Even if you were one of the grumpy few who didn't love Barney, well, Barney loved you anyway. And he told you so in every episode. Luckily, there's one person who seems to be just as joyful and optimistic as Barney himself, David Joyner, the man who wore that big purple suit. Aside from acting, there's a lot more to Joyner than just Barney. Like the fact that he scored an ITT tech degree in electronic engineering, he worked as a software analyst, he's a Reiki practitioner, and he's a licensed massage therapist for starters. Let's dive in and see what the accomplished man behind the dyno is really like. Psychic Premonition Joyner is one spiritual dude. He told Business Insider he knew ahead of time that he was going to get the role of Barney, stating, I was supposed to do this character. Joyner says that when it's time to make big life decisions, he's always trusted his dreams to guide the way. Well, the night before the audition, I had this dream. And in this dream, Barney passes out and I have to give Barney mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Inspired by this, Joyner took his passion into his audition, successfully scoring the role of a lifetime and helping create one of the biggest cultural icons of the 90s. So of course they called me and asked if I would be Barney and I said, of course, I, I pretty much already knew that I was gonna be Barney. Dinosaur Decade. It'd be easy for adults to think that the guy playing Barney must have been a down on his luck actor struggling to pay the bills with some weird side gig. According to People magazine, the 70 pound purple costume sometimes got up to 120 degrees on the inside and the actor could only look out through Barney's mouth. On top of that, since Barney was actually voiced by a different man, being the guy who just has to wear the costume might seem like a rather thankless job. But David Joyner has been quite outspoken about how much he loved playing Barney. Barney was beautiful. Barney was very, very good to me. I loved being Barney. I loved everything about being Barney. Joyner was so passionate about the role that he played Barney for over a decade. Small screen regular. Believe it or not, Joyner has appeared in countless major TV shows of the last few decades. He's appeared in shows like House, Switched at Birth, Heart of Dixie, and Southland. Probably his most memorable guest appearance was in ER, where he had a recurring role as a dialysis technician shut down the rumors. While it was only recently that the public became aware of Joyner's true identity, there have always been bizarre conspiracy theories about the previously unknown guy who played Barney. The silliest of these rumors, which still pops up from time to time, is that the actor who played Barney was a crazy cocaine addict, supposedly so addicted that he hid his prized cocaine stash up Barney's purple tail, which eventually got him caught and thrown in jail. There's also a weird myth that claims the guy who played Barney supposedly hanged himself in costume. That one might have been tricky to pull off. Clearly Joyner's alive and didn't go to prison and both rumours were thoroughly debunked by Snopes. Rapping Bear Though Joyner's dinosaur years are long behind him, he never stopped being the man in the costume. In the 21st century, he swapped out those purple scales for yellow fur, a sideways cap and gold bling, thus becoming Hip Hop Harry, a bear who does educational rap videos. And I say hip hop, you say Harry, hip hop, Harry, hip hop, Harry. Hip -hop. Harry. These days, he seems to love Hip Hop Harry just as much as he loved Barney. It's so much fun, just try and see. There's so many things that you can learn in the library. Cha-ching. As it turns out, playing Barney was actually a really smart financial decision on Joyner's part. According to Business Insider, the earnings from the residual checks were big enough to make Joyner's jaw drop to the floor, and he managed to put that money to good use. So I had this beautiful white stucco home, um, and I paid for the house with residuals, which was really cool. Secret Identity In Joyner's interview with Grunge, the actor shared that one of the coolest things about having been Barney is that he gets to have a secret identity. Not surprisingly, he loves revealing his secret to unsuspecting bystanders, if only to see the looks on their faces. Joyner revealed, A couple of days ago, I was at Bed Bath & Beyond, buying some things for the office, and this guy was working the register, this young guy. He was tall. You can tell he played football, kind of burly looking. Joyner said that the cashier inquired whether he was old enough to buy his items. Joyner responded, Yes sir, I am. And as a matter of fact, I was probably your childhood hero. But there's only one Barney. <laughs> That's me. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.